Hey guys, these are the Integrated Science Unit 3, Skill 2, so we're in the Chemistry Unit, and Types of Matter Part 2. So last uh, set of notes, we talked about what an element is, a compound, a heterogeneous, and a homogeneous mixture, and the differences between the the four types of matter. So during these notes, it's just going to be if you have a sample and you're trying to figure out what it is, this is a stepwise process, just a series of questions, yes, no questions, to identify what type of matter it is. So there's a flow chart in your notes. You're going to be filling this out as we go along. So keep in mind, if you have a sample of matter, it's really important to know what it is. So is it an element, a compound, a homogeneous mixture, or a heterogeneous mixture? I've put the pictures up at the atomic level for you to see again what they are. So remember your two types of pure substances, an element all has the same type of atoms and there's no bonds. So all those atoms are just floating around on their own. Versus a compound, it's also a pure substance because if you see everything in here looks the same, but those the circles aren't alone anymore. The atoms are bonded to something else and it's in a consistent pattern. So you, this has a one to two ratio, one gray, the two red for every single one in here. A homogeneous mixture or homogeneous mixture looks the same throughout, but it actually isn't. So that's what makes it a mixture instead of a pure substance. It isn't the same throughout, and it's got different things in it, but a homogeneous mixture looks the same. Even though it, at the atomic level it's not, it looks the same to the naked human eye. Versus a heterogeneous mixture is not the same at the atomic level. You have different things within one area, but you can clearly see different phases, as in they look different throughout different parts of it. So at the end of these notes, you're going to be able to figure out for each of these substances, um, salt, copper, bird, listerine, what type of matter they are. So let's start with the steps. So the first question you want to ask is, does the sample fit either of the following? So it can be one or two. Number one, are there multiple phases? As in, does it look different at different points in the substance? Number two, is it living? And then you say yes or no to that. And if it's a yes, it could be to one or two or both. It doesn't matter. If either of them are yes, then it's a heterogeneous mixture. So for example, this, right? If I look in this beaker, I can clearly see I've got a clear liquid and a yellow liquid. And each of those is a different phase. So this is a heterogeneous mixture. And what this is, is oil and water. Oil and water don't mix because of the molecular properties. That's also why um, oil and vinegar don't mix. So oil is nonpolar, water is polar, and those two things do not go together. If the answer is no, you move on to the next question. So here's the next question. Does the single phase substance, and it has to be single phase because everything that was more than one phase went away in the last question. So does this single phase substance come in a different variety or it comes in multiple concentrations or options or purities? Yes or no? So if you can get a variety of this, even if it looks the same throughout, if it isn't always the same every single time you get it, if there's differences, then you follow yes here, and it's a homogeneous mixture. So for example, milk. You can get milk in 2%, whole milk, skim milk, all sorts of different types of milk. So it's a mixture because it doesn't have a set composition. It's not pure. It has multiple things in it, and you can change the variation, right? So you can say, like, how much fat there is in the milk. That's what determines what type. Um, you can also get types with different proteins in it, um, all sorts of stuff. So Milk is an example of a homogeneous mixture. It is not the, always the same throughout, which is what makes it a mixture, but it looks the same whenever you get a single sample, so that's what makes it homogeneous. So the next question. This single phase substance, and it looks the same throughout, it always has the same composition. Is it on the periodic table? If yes, if it's any of these, you know it's an element. So for example, this is zinc. Zinc is right here, atomic number 30. So I know that this zinc is an element. Versus, this is sugar or sucrose. Sucrose is not on the periodic table. But no matter what you have, a sample of sucrose is always exactly the same. So since it's always the same chemical composition, it can't be a mixture. It's got to be a pure substance. If it's not on the periodic table, it has to be a compound. So sucrose or sugar is a compound.
All right, so let's go through the examples that we started at the beginning of the lesson by me showing you. So table salt, NaCl. First, there's a clue. There is a chemical formula and there's more than one element. So that should clue you into something that we've seen before, but let's go through the set of questions. So the first one, is it living? No. Does it look the same or does it have differences throughout it? No, every single grain looks exactly the same. Keep going. The next question is, can you get it in different concentrations? No. Table salt is table salt. Salt is salt is salt is salt. Right? You might have a bigger chunk or something, but it's still the same chemical composition. So now we know it's a pure substance. Is salt on the periodic table? No. So it's a compound. Next is a bird. Again, start at the very beginning of your flowchart. And the very beginning, it asks, does it look different throughout or is it living? And it's yes for both of them. So this is a heterogeneous mixture. Anything alive is a heterogeneous mixture. Copper wire. All right, we start at the beginning. It doesn't look different throughout. And then you can't get different concentrations. Copper wire is copper wire is copper wire. So it's either an element or a compound. Well, copper is on the periodic table. So it's an element. The wire kind of just throws you off because it's just talking about the form that it's in. It's not talking about the um, molecular composition. All right, Listerine. Does Listerine look different throughout? No. Is it alive? Definitely not. Um, so the next one is, does it come in different concentrations or varieties? Well, yeah, I've got yellow, blue, green. So this is a homogeneous mixture. Good luck identifying uh, types of matter, and I will see you in the next set of notes.